Hello learners. In this tutorial, I am going to explain how to create the MariaDB in the Azure platform. First of all, we will see how to create the MariaDB in Azure platform. Then I will show you how to connect to that database through the MySQL workbench. So, first of all, we will uh, search that uh, MariaDB. So, in the search bar, uh, you can type database or Maria DB. You can see there is a uh, service. So I click on that. Then uh, I click on this create button or this uh, create Azure database for Maria DB server button. You can uh, start the uh, creation process. So I click on that create Azure database for my SQL uh, Maria DB server button. Then you can see that information, uh, the create MariaDB uh, server uh, page will appear. So my subscription is Azure student, then my resource group, then I will give a server name as data cafe MariaDB01. This is my uh, server name and I'm not take getting any backups for uh, this server so uh, currently is US not available in these locations for your subscription so east US 2 location is available then version 10.3 10.2 is available so I select 10.3 then uh, I have to configure the server basically compute and storage uh, so default one is 4B cores and 100 GB storage. So I need to change that one. So to change, you have to click on this configure server. Then it will be open the pricing tier. So uh, you can see uh, its uh, compute tier is the general purpose. But you can see the cost is monthly cost is $320. It is not a high amount for the demonstration purpose. So I select as basic. Then uh, my V course I reduce from 1 to 2 and my uh, storage size uh, is 5 GB. So likewise uh, you can uh, change your pricing tier. Now you can see my monthly cost is $30. I think for the demonstration purpose that is enough. So if you, are, if you need to implement uh, the database uh, in the production environment, then definitely you have to select the uh, relevant uh, configurations okay so then click on this ok button then uh, you have to give the uh, server admin username so my server admin username is uh, data cafe admin then i will give a password for that okay then confirm password i think uh, password and confirm password for the match then uh, if you go to the tags, you can create a tag. I'm not going to create any tag at this moment. Then uh, in the review and create, you can see all the information, product details, uh, Azure database for MariaDB by Microsoft, estimation cost per month $30, and terms and conditions, and other basic information, subscriptions, resource group, server name, data source. I'm not selecting any data source. The location is the US version 2, which my MariaDB version is 10.3. Then uh, compute storage and retention, uh, backup retention period is seven days. So for uh, recovery purposes, uh, I have selected that one. So uh, then you can click on the create button to create your MariaDB. So I will click on this create button. Then you can see on the right hand side, it will initialize the deployment. And submitting deployment, so it after few uh, couple of minutes it will create your uh, MariaDB instance. Okay, now you can see my deployment has completed. So you can see the deployment details like this, or you can go to the resource by click on this button. So this is my uh, server uh, name, server home, uh, overview. So you can see resource group status and location, subscriptions and other information is available. Then uh, the server name and the server admin login name, those are very important when you are connecting to 
this maria db using uh, mysql workbench so later we will take that information to connect so versions and the configurations and the cell info states are enabled so that information is there so after that uh, you can get activity log uh, access control and connection string so that is very important when you are connecting to the maria db database to the mysql workbench so in this uh, settings what we can do is we can whitelist our public ip so uh, i will add my uh, current public ip to this uh, firewall rule for that you can click on this add button then it will create a firewall rule and you can save uh, from that you can uh, create a connections between your local desktop or laptop to the uh, azure platform so i think we have uh, done that change so uh, now uh, you can open your MySQL workbench and we can see uh, how to create that uh, connections between MySQL workbench to uh, MariaDB. Now I think you have a clear understanding about how to create uh, Azure MariaDB in the Azure platform. So now I will show you how to connect to uh, that database through the MySQL workbench and uh, create sample database for your demonstration purpose okay so to create new connections you can click on this plus sign so if you click on this plus sign then it will open uh, set up new connection so my uh, connection name will be uh, maria db on sure so my connection method is standard so uh, i will take my uh, server name from this overview page of the maria db so click to copy board, copy to clipboard, then uh, host name, I will paste my server name, then again I am going to there and I will uh, copy to, uh, I copy my uh, server admin login name into the clipboard, then again go to the username. So after that I am not selecting any defaults you know, because this is a fresh database. So uh, just click on this test connection button you can see uh, you have to give my password i will give the correct password which i have given earlier if you want you can save your password in the watch then click ok yeah there is a uh, warning actually it's a incompatible uh, incompatible and non-standard server version zero connection protocol detected but I think uh, the connection is uh, successfully created. So you can click uh, this continue anyway button, then uh, you can connect to your uh, MariaDB. So now you can see uh, I have connected to my MariaDB uh, database. Now you can see uh, the recently created uh, connection uh, is listed in the MySQL workbench. So now I am going to click on these connections to connect my MariaDB. So I will double click on that. Then it will open the uh, query editor, SQL editor. Now you can see my query editor, uh, query one has opened. So for the demonstration purpose, I have uh, written a sample uh, SQL uh, script to create a database, create a table and insert a few records for this table. So I will copy and paste uh, that uh, Information into this query editor so you can see my data. I'm going to create a database called books. So, to create this one, you can select that particular record and click on this execute button. Then, you can see a uh, database created. So, if I refresh this one, uh, you can see this book database is created. So, if you want to use this database, then you have to execute this line. Then after that, you can uh, create a table until uh, still there is no any tables under tables menu. So once I execute this one, it will uh, create a table. So after that, you can see the available tables using uh, by executing these show tables command. So then you can see uh, only author table is there. So after that, you can insert few sample records for this author's table and you can see all the tables has inserted so uh, likewise uh, you can uh, select all the information of the author's table by executing this select query like this so uh, this is the uh, output of this uh, 
table so i think now you have clear understanding about how to create a mariadb in the azure platform and how to uh, connect to that uh, mariadb through the mysql workbench and uh, how to create a sample database in the table on the mariadb so if you have any questions you can uh, put on the comment sections and uh, if you are interested you can share with your friends thank you